and welcome to another video on this COVID-19 series. Myself Sonali Somamukherjee in front of you with a very important topic about the history of this COVID-19 uh, virus that is the genome characteristics of beta coronavirus and SARS-CoV-2. All this will be discussed in this video. For this you need to be uh, with me. Beta coronaviruses. Let's talk about this uh, family of virus. Now see, uh, beta coronaviruses are uh, means positive sense strand RNA viruses enveloped of course and this virus is positive sense strand. Let me tell you briefly about this positive sense strand and uh, negative sense strand. When the genetic material of the virus is RNA, it is RNA virus. In this case, if it is a positive uh, strand, sense strand, we call it positive strand is called a sense strand. Now in this case what happens is at the time of transcription the viral mRNA can be directly translated into proteins. That's why it's positive uh, sense strand we call it. And if it is a negative sense strand which is also known as antisense in that case here it was the mRNA, the viral mRNA could be directly translated into proteins but in case of a negative sense strand which is also known as antisense strand in this case the direct uh, translation cannot take place complementary to the viral mRNA that could be transcribed means a direct translation is not possible over here. So this is a difference in case of corona uh, beta coronaviruses this is a positive sense strand of a virus and in this virus each genome encodes polyproteins uh, which will further go on with the process of proteolysis and will become on uh, non-structural proteins such as 3, uh, CL, PL or even RNA dependent RNA polymerase uh, RDRP that is RNA dependent RNA polymerase this is a family of uh, virus that is uh, belonging to family coronaviridae and the length is somewhat 27 to 32 kilobytes in size and in this case we can talk about the virus that it is the where a comparison has been lined up with the human genome of over 3 billion nucleic bases uh, nucleotide bases and a virus genome is such a small one only 30,000 letters long we can say. So comparatively if I am drawing up the line it's really a small one but it has a high power of transmission and mutating. So let's talk about this family of coronavirus that is the beta coronavirus. See beta coronavirus earlier prior to the identification of SARS-CoV-2 this virus has already been there in humans as endemic and epidemic human coronaviruses. It's not at all something very new. So what is uh, right now happened, what has happened is this virus has a capability of uh, uh, becoming a non-structural protein. Beta coronavirus has a capability of becoming non-structural protein. Structural proteins at the same time it can also become structural proteins such as S protein what we talk about the spike protein, membrane protein that is the M protein we say. Otherwise nucleocapsid protein is there and envelope small membrane protein that is E. So the four letters that I need to uh, write over here S protein that is denoted as S for membrane protein we denote it as M then N envelope a small membrane protein you can denote it with E and lastly that is SME and lastly comes the nucleocapsid protein that is N. So these are the letters, these are structural proteins the virus has become, it has capacity of and but all these will be integral to replication, transcription and replication. Viruses um, has uh, led to the discovery of this new coronavirus that is SARS-CoV-2 where bats have been the largest I means large reservoir of this virus and uh, via some that means as bats are ecologically different as far as other mammalian species have been there as intermediate host acting uh, for the transmission from bats to humans. Now comes the uh, means capability of this virus. Look beta coronaviruses have got a great capability of proofreading mechanism at the same time 
replication and proofreading mechanism. Now, it has a means it has a, a superior capability to mutate and as it mutates it transmits also. So, the power of replication is also very high at the same time high error rate is also there but it has a proofreading mechanism to find out first of all find out and then uh, talk uh, how we are going to uh, means have our strategy prepared. So all these topics have been very linked. So RNA family of viruses is a large family of viruses where coronavirus is only having 10 times 10 fold lower rate of mutations yet due to some mutations in its genome we have come up with so many strains. So the transmission power has also been very high. We have a uh, mechanism in some other video. So be with me and encourage me to come up with more videos of this type. Thank you.